Local lawmakers are once again introducing the Kelsey Smith Act on Capitol Hill, hoping to get it enacted on a national level. The legislation requires cell phone providers to release a cell phone location in a life or death emergency, a law that might have saved the life of 18-year-old Kelsey Smith of Overland Park. Fifteen years ago, Kelsey Smith walked out of a Target store in Overland Park and disappeared. There was a massive search, but it took four days for the cell phone company to agree to release the location of her phone. Then, within 45 minutes, police located Kelsey's phone and her body. She'd been abducted, raped, and murdered. I can't even imagine the... Um the anguish that they went through for four days. I wouldn't wish that on anybody. Kelsey's law was first enacted in Kansas more than a decade ago. It's now on the books in 30 states, including Missouri, something her parents have fought hard for in their daughter's name. But the goal is to make it a tool for law enforcement everywhere. The authority to ping a phone without a warrant is limited to emergency situations. With today's technology, Overland Park police say it's a tool they need and they use it. Boom get the ping, we find out where they're at, maybe they're still alive, we rescue them. That's the goal of this. The legislation has been introduced in Washington several times before and failed. The issue is privacy. Opponents, including the ACLU, argue there's too much risk of abuse. Supporters believe it provides enough safeguards and hope lawmakers see it that way. I'm sure that they would like to see this if something happened to one of their loved ones and would like to see us take quick action. Kelsey Smith's killer, Edwin Hall, pleaded guilty to avoid the death penalty. He is currently serving life without parole.